Hey, good morning guys. So it's a very awesome day today. We are headed into Martinsville to our buddy's shop, Daryl's shop, Checkered Flag, and we are starting the build on our new Renegade. We're finally gonna be able to, <laughs> it's been sitting in the shop for months. It's been here and there in videos, but we are finally starting the build. So first things first, we gotta cold start this truck. Nah, it wasn't cold start, it was plugged in. All right, let's get this sucker loaded, let's get the parts loaded, and let's get the heck out of here. Holy, is it frosty. Do you guys know this little trick? I'm sure you Dodge owners know. Cruise control, on, minus. High idle. Holy, is it look wintry. So we got a bit of snow yesterday, and then overnight, it must have been very humid, we got hoar frost, hoar frost. Everywhere, it looks freaking fantastic. I should be doing drone shot right now. It would look so pretty from the air. Even the truck's horror frosted up. Oh! I already talked about the horror frost. You just about hit your head. Did I? <laughs> it was close. <laughs> himself yeah okay in the so flesh. we're here at checkered flag so if you guys didn't know um so daryl's owned checkered flag for a few years now and it was going great so he decided to just punch himself in the face and open up another part of the store what? so here he's got good times recreation where they mostly concentrate on atv and utv uh, modifications and repairs engine replacement stuff like that so i don't know if we'll have a bit of video but as always it was ultra sketchy on was it fun? without wraps it was so <laughs> sketchy but we got it off and we got it in there, so let's go check out what we got. <gasps> Look at my crib. Oh, <laughs> my hizza. It looks so good in here. That's oh. why, this is this is why Daryl never rides because he never wants to get it. Look at him. He's it's growing <laughs> greenery. <laughs> yeah, poor Daryl. Anyway, so yeah. So if you guys notice, um, these Look. are the rad kits we use, all aluminum, and like uh, in my opinion, the best looking rad kit on the market for sure. So. This is almost like a spinning image of full poles. Except for this full pole right here. Oh, so, special. Yeah, super cool. So he sells those and all sorts of So tires, can rims. they personalize it for people if they want? Yeah, totally. There they you go. Cut, they can cut anything. They just use this as a, you know, generic. A template. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they can cut any logo they want in there. So, okay, let's go in the back. Okay. All right, so these are tracks for somebody else's machine, I'm assuming. But... What's happening here? Okay, so. Hey, what's up? Maybe I'll be doing most of the work on it. Maybe, Hello. maybe. Awesome. Okay. So we're just gonna go over uh, some of the stuff that we have planned to go on it. Mm -hmm. So, um, like usual, the last like maybe three or four builds we've done, we're using a uh, 3P STM primary and secondary. They are freaking gorgeous. So we've had really good luck with them. So uh, for now, because we're running the tracks, we're gonna run this compound helix. Usually we replace the compound helix for a straight helix. But we're gonna run this compound one and see if we can get a bit more track speed. So we'll see how that works out. And then uh, I'm not sure exactly, it's a red spring in the primary. I'd have to look up what the spring rate of that red spring can is. Can I just ask why you have a knife in your hand? I gotta open other stuff. Oh, got you. <laughs> okay, so clutches. Clutches. Okay, rear hitch. That's a, that's a very important thing because for whatever reason, when you buy a real expensive Renegade XMR, it doesn't come with a rear hitch. Because <laughs> they want light and fast. So if you want to be able to run a tiger tail or you want to uh, be able to run a little bit better uh, recovery point, you know, bolt on the rear hitch. Okay, you guys remember uh, Craig at 3 Billy powder coating? We sent them our RJWC duels. So this is the first time we're actually seeing it. Totally. It's been I've seen a couple in, pictures. It's been sitting in the back of the Jeep Cherokee. Yeah, i seen a couple pictures, that was it. So Craig does freaking amazing work, so I'm super excited to see. Just don't cut through Just it. Just cut right into it. Real ginger. Oh, right there. Like Jared? Ginger? <laughs> <laughs> Jared, she didn't. She didn't mean that, Jared. Sorry, so okay. 
So he does freaking like the best power coating, like like I seen pictures. I'm just i just trying to say like the, the amount of uh, amount of detail he does. Like he does the bolts, you guys. Hey, can you talk about it? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Look at how good. Wow. Like the screws. Those are neat. Looks good. He does such good work. Can you imagine the sound that's gonna come out of that? Oh, RJWC exhaust. RJWC sounds so good. Check out the shifter. We've got him to do the Ooh, special. Yes. So it's like it's like uh, what's it called? Satin inside and then yes. flat black and then, and then shiny. The nice. Oh, pretty good. So good. Oh, That's it's like really it blends good. in, you can't even see it. Yeah. It matches really good. This neo yellow is a really kind of a mustardy yellow, kind of hard to hey, match. What do you call this guy? You still have one of a name. Oh, you know I'm gonna call him <laughs> I'm gonna call him Lockie. <laughs> okay, that's dumb. I know, but it's what it's gonna be called. It's not happening. Because it has it's a new four lock system, right? So it's got a new front locker. So I think it's gotta be something to a lock. So I was thinking lock down. No. Fine lock. Something that I'm like Lockie. We'll, we'll keep thinking. Lockie. No way, man. It's Lockie. <laughs> I already have locked in. <laughs> Locky. Okay, so this is gonna be Locky. Hey. Project Locky. Okay, so hey, Project three, Nemo. Project what? Nemo. Nemo. <laughs> um, another thing we like to do, even though they come with uh, super winches, which is a pretty good winch, but we really, really, really have good luck with our VRX. So uh, they have a really nice sealed um, all steel um, free spool handle. So we used to have trouble with our free spool handles, the plastic ones, they used to skip over, they'd be stuck either well, in free spool or Well, skig and dirt stuck. would get yeah, stuck totally. in there, man, that's be, the worst. We are the worst on them. And since we started using these VRX, we just never have issues whatsoever. So what's really easy is uh, we can leave all the, what's it called, the the contactor, the, you know the thing that all the way He's gritting his teeth, he's finish. really thinking hard. <laughs> <Selling>. <laughs> <laughs> so all the solenoid, everything we just keep in, we just basically take the two wires off, the four bolts, and we just swap winches. Is what we do. Keep all the same wiring that comes with it and everything like that. Making it too easy on these guys. Yeah. Come on. They come, they come packed so nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they are really nice. So then we get, um, holy crap, with the synthetic rope. But here's what I'm talking about. They actually come with this synthetic rope? This little handle is like... It's like um, how they did their locking hub technology. It's like a really nice O-ring. They're really sealed well, and they just work really, yeah, really dang good. We have a hard time getting in there. Yeah. Like I said, since we went to these, we've ne we haven't ever replaced one yet. But even though they come with synthetic rope, we still need to put Oster rope. Yeah, right? totally. Totally. Throw this. We just use this for like... That's garbage. It, it seems pretty thin, too. I bet you it's not quarter inch. This no. Probably well, I've heard a inch. lot of comments about they, you know, they break the rope within, you know, however many uses because it is kind of thin but yeah fairly thin can't but it's put usually pretty quality stuff but okay um now i gotta find the box with some other goodies okay take three hey where's my clacker stick <sighs> mrs austin wants this <laughs> you even it's happening bought, she even bought one you guys uh, it's gonna you know happen. those little take one <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> like, happen we'll never use yes that. it's happening <laughs> anyways so we are going to run um rgwc neutrino Headlight and tail lights. Now these are his Gen 2 headlights with um, you can put on all different colors of halos. Oh, nice! And they just literally like snap on. I, I don't know if they're magnets or what, but they're like two seconds to change, so you can oh, change cool. the colors of your things. So, so when cool. we first started building, I wanted so badly to have on my Outlander pink oh, lights. Totally. And can no I, one makes them. Do you guys remember Mrs. Austin's Outlander build? It turned out so cool. And it was not really a pink, it was like a raspberry. Yes. It was a really nice, really cool color. I'll put in a little bit of a video right here, but it was super cool. But yeah, we could not find anyone that made made those. But these lights. lights are by far the bright yeah, and, and even so the tail lights. They're so yeah. gorgeous. And everything comes like so packed so like all this cut foam and stuff. Everything's like just beautiful. I love them on full pull. Like they're just, they're bright, they're, they're awesome. Waterproof, they work really good. So there's the different colors? Yeah, all the different colors of halos. Cool. Here's the headlights. Look at this, look at this, this packing job. Wow. It's like a Christmas present. Look at these suckers. So those, so the, this right here, is that the color? Like, no. Um, these might be just white. Okay. So I'm telling you, you can just snap them off and snap on. Like, I'm pretty sure there's like blue, green, yellow. There's a whole bunch of different colors. But anyways, once it's all installed, we'll go through all that and we'll see how they look. And we'll pick the best color for Project Locky. I'm telling you, no. it's, it's going to grow on you. 
I thought it was the silly, silly at first too. <laughs> Did you just have a weird dream and you're like cruising and your hair's blowing in the wind? You're like, Lockheed. Lock <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm telling you, it's going to grow on you. Anyway, so that's our, that's our plan for right now. So we're going to throw all these parts on. Bam! These guys are going to throw all the parts on. And then I won't do it. Oh, no, no, we're not ready for the snap yet. Oh, okay. And then we're going to come back and we're going to, we're going to see everything. We're gonna see everything done. We're okay. gonna, we get the best, best part. We get to test it out when it's done. Okay, cool. Okay, so get ready to when everything's on. Hey. Another thing I forgot to mention is like all our builds, uh, we're gonna rip out the rear diff. We're gonna send it to Jared at Mud Wheels and he's gonna go through it and set it up. We have, I can't say we've never blown one of his rear diffs, but we spent three years running nitrous on Wasn't Big that blue. in the six by six? No, Big Blue, that was center diff. After he set up the center diff, oh. Issue again. Okay, gotcha. When a big blue run a nitrous with 34s with that big cat host lift, we blew up his diff. That thing took years. a little bit of beating because so it was too much power. There's nothing that is, you know, that doesn't break at some point, but for the most part, we have had the best luck with his his rear diffs. We, we on a normal normal build, we, we've never had issues with his. So we're going to rip that rear diff out, send it to Jared, get him to set it up. Boom! One of Another thing I forgot to mention is uh, when we're at home, um, we installed our Apache 360. We went with the LT tracks. So they give you the most flotation and then a guy can also run them in the summer. So we didn't go with another set of backcountry just so we could try some skeg missions. It's going to be awesome. We'll try some skeg missions with these in the spring. So. What are you looking at me for? I didn't break the thing. Oh, totally <laughs> broke it. And also uh, on every single build ever, if you live anywhere where it gets cold, is run these hand and thumb warmer combos they are the best combos they work great they oh they work so good so we threw those on really quick too so i think that covers it gas cap we don't have we don't have cool gas cap no we just got lamo lamo we do have we do we do have we do have one but we might have to send it away and get it get it looking better okay so that's it for now let's clean up some garbage let's get to work by, by, I say, let's get to work. I'm just talking to you, AJ. No, I'm just kidding. guys it is freaking cold out this morning we just came in to pick up project Loch Ness project Locky I don't know we haven't decided on the name for it yet but huge thanks to Daryl and the staff at good times they got everything we we had set out they got her all installed button wheels diff new winch clutches RJWC lights exhaust holy she is a freaking unit now so we're just gonna get cruising home. It is Christmas Eve, you guys, Christmas tomorrow. So let's get cruising and let's get ready for Christmas. Oh, she is cold out here, boys. She's windy. It's only about minus 20, but it is windy. Do a little cold start here. Yes! <laughs> Woo! What a beauty!
guys, so we got her in here melting off. We got some good heat in the exhaust, good heat in the clutches, and good heat in the belt. So that was a nice uh, kind of first break-in ride. So for the clutches and belt, everything else has been broken before. So yeah, so that about does it for our, for now, for the phase one, we got some really cool uh, goodies coming in the spring. Uh, some stuff from S3 and some stuff from Mod Shop coming for Project Loch Ness. So it's pretty cool. So the whole reason behind Loch Ness name, um, as you know, the 2021 Renegades, they have the four lock system. So basically what that is, it's just a push button locker for the front axle. Something so simple, but it works so dang good. So you want a locked front end, it's as simple as a press of a button, boom, you got a locked front end. So super cool. Awesome that Can-Am came up with that. She's a deadly build. It's going to be a freaking blast to ride this thing and break this thing in. And uh, we just want to say super, super thanks to Can-Am and super thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you next one.